Hi friends, welcome back. This is Mehjibin and today I'm going to narrate the summary and then explain the poem Deep in Our Refrigerator. This poem was composed by Jack Pilutsky. Jack Pilutsky is an American writer of children's poetry. He was born in New York in 1940. He has written more than 70 books for children. They include books like Stardine's Swim High Across the Sky and other poems, The Swamps of Sleet, poems from beyond the solar system, and Be Glad Your Nose is on Your Facey and other poems. Jack Pilutsky has also edited collections of poetry for children. In the poem Deep in Our Refrigerator, Prelutsky talks about the observations that he has made on the use of the refrigerator in his house. He has discovered that his mother, being a thrifty lady by nature, tries to store food in the refrigerator for as long as possible. Eventually, when she has to throw away the stuff, she feels sad because money had been wasted on it. Through this poem, the poet wishes to draw the attention of the economical nature of housewives who have the habit of making the best possible use of food and try to preserve it for as long as possible. The poet begins the poem by saying that there is a special place in the refrigerator in their house. Deep inside that place, food lies stored for quite some time. It is kept there because it might be needed at any moment. The mother feels that the food has become too old to be eaten, yet it's not so old that it should be thrown away. The food stays inside the fridge for a month or so. It gets ripened in the cold. Then green or grey colored mould grows on the food. Every day the clumps of mould grow larger in size. A foul smell also comes out. Eventually, the clumps become too slippery. The mother realizes that it's time for her to throw away the food because it has become completely spoiled. She feels sad to dump it off because she had hoped that it would be useful at some point of time, but it hadn't proved to be. Next, the poet's mother stocks up the fridge with stuff that is relatively fresh. Now this is how the poem starts. Deep in our refrigerator, there's a special place. For food that's been around a while, we keep it just in case. So the poet says that in the refrigerator in their house, there's a special place deep inside. And food is kept there for a certain period of time. And they keep the food because it might be needed at any moment. It's probably too old to eat, my mother likes to say. And every time the poet's mother opens the fridge, her eyes fall on the food that has been kept there for a certain period of time. And then she looks at it and she says that it is probably, it might be that it is too old to eat this. But I don't think it's old enough for me to throw away. Still, she has kept the food in the fridge because she does not want to throw it away. She thinks that it, is, uh, it can still be used at some point of time in the future. It stays there for a month or more to ripen in the cold. So the food stays there in the fridge to ripen in the cold the like uh, vegetables and fruits they uh, they get ripened and soon we notice fuzzy clumps fuzzy means fluffy or downy or woolly hairy so fuzzy clumps clumps means bundle or blob or chunk cluster lump and soon we notice fuzzy clumps of mold of multicolored especially green or gray colored it's a green or gray colored growth that develops on food that has become old. So this is called as mold. So mold is visible um, on the food. So this, uh, this show, uh, shows 
that the food is no longer edible it is it has become its condition has become totally rotten and clumps the clumps are larger every day and the, the and the blobs they become larger with each passing day we notice this as well and but mostly what we notice is a certain special smell so the food also uh, lets out a bad smell uh, uh, so it starts stinking this is what the poet means to say so the mother decides that it has uh, it is time for her to uh, throw away the food when it all becomes a nasty mass of slime and when the food becomes very slippery a nasty means unpleasant mass means again a blob of slime that means very slippery a sticky liquid substance that is unpleasant to touch is called slime and then my mother takes it out she takes out the food and says apparently it's time that means it is time for me to throw away the food she dumps it she throws it in the garbage can do not without regret but as she throws away the food she feels sad she feels disappointed she feels let down why because she had spent money to buy it and now she had to throw it away without uh, the food being useful do not without regret then fills the space with other food that's not so ancient yet ancient means too old so then uh, that empty spa uh, space is filled up again with food which is relatively fresher well that's all for today i do hope that you have understood this poem bye